Here's the objective and official tier list of Mario Kart maps, and if you believe otherwise, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Also, these will be ranked based on their layout and not their music or visuals or anything else, so beware. Anyways, here we go. Warning, I love Mario Kart, but I ripped apart some of these tracks, so uh, be prepared. Mario Kart Stadium. This is a great first map. It's got some cool turns, it's fun, it's not incredible, but it's solid. High B tier. Water Park. Now, Water Park has a great left turn. It lasts for about 15 years. It is long. Other than that, it's kind of meh. High C tier. Sweet Sweet Canyon. Now, Sweet Sweet Canyon is good. All right, it flows well, it's fun. It's got a great shortcut at the end. If you have a boost, that is. B tier. Thwomp Ruins. So this map has a cool shortcut at the end. It's a lot of fun, but controversial opinion time. I think this map, in the middle at least, is terrible. I hate this middle part, all right? If you if you don't like that, sue me. I don't care. This, this is what I think. Low D tier. Mario Circuit number one. This one is great, all right? It's got simple turns, but these turns make you feel good, all right? They make you feel nice. And it's simple. It's, it's plain, but it's clean. High B tier. Toad Harbor. Now, this map is a good map. There's a lot of shortcuts. It's built well. This is what you want from a Mario Kart map. Low A tier, Twisted Mansion. Now, I am just so indifferent about this map. I honestly just, I can't really just care about it. C tier. Now, Shy Guy Falls is a very good map, and almost all of it is good, except for the ending. I think it's a little bit wonky, and for that, I gotta give it a high B tier. Sunshine Airport is a pretty decent map. I think the part where you go into the airplane is very good, and it flows very well, but other than that, it's, it's a decent map. B tier. So Dolphin Shoals is a very meh map, like I don't really care about it that much, but there is that weird eel thing that moves back and forth, and that kind of saves the map, so uh, good job eel thing. High C tier. Electrodrome, and I just found out that this map has an R in its name, which is pretty cool. But unfortunately for me, I think that's the only cool thing about it. See, I used to love this map, but now it's just gotten really stale and boring, and it's not as satisfying as Mario Circuit number one. So yeah, C tier, Mount Wario. Now I am torn on this map, cause I like it, all right? I love the first and last act of it, but that middle part with the trees, oh my God, I hate that part. Those godforsaken trees. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give this a high C, sorry. Cloudtop Cruise is a great map and it's got a lot of free shortcuts, which I really enjoy. I think the lightning is kinda stupid, but uh, the rest of it brings it back up. Low A tier, Bone Dry Dunes. Now I used to hate this map. It used to make my blood boil, but it's not that bad now after I figured out how to drift around and take the shortcut. So yeah, I'd say this is a high C tier. Bowser's Castle. Now I am just so emotionless when I think about this map. Like, it is nothing to me. It is just so mediocre that I actually think it's below the average. Um, yeah, that's going into a high D tier. The New Rainbow Road. Now, this map is, is very, very controversial, but I love this map, all right? These, these turns are hard, don't get me wrong. These are hard turns, but I love them, all right? It flows well, you gotta break a lot, but it still makes you go fast. So yeah, this is a good map. Hi B tier, Moo Moo Meadows. Now you guys are gonna hate me for this one, but I just don't like this map. I hate it, I just, I don't like it. What do I say, I don't wanna lie to you. This is real and it's not fun for me. It is boring, this is a D tier. Okay, maybe hate is a strong word. I don't hate it, it's just eh. Mario Circuit number two, I'm just not feeling it. You know, I used to like this map kind of, but now it's just not it. The ink especially just makes it so much more worse. Without that, it would be a decent B tier, but with the ink, that is a C tier for me. A low C tier, I'm sorry. Cheap Cheap Beach, now this map is kind of a mid map, and honestly, I think it's less than mid. It's not even that good, except for the ending. That ending turn, those last two with the with the ramps and everything, that makes it real tense at the end, and I have to respect it for that. High C tier, Toad's Turnpike. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first stinker. This one is doo-doo garbage. I don't like this map, all right? Especially in 150. In 150, you can't make a clean drift. You gotta just steer, like you can't even drift. Like, this is not a good map, I'm sorry. This is an F tier, a solid F tier. Dry Dry Desert, oh the potential of this map. This one starts so great, these turns are so clean. And then you get to the middle, and what is this nonsense? What is this? I, I hate it, I absolutely hate it, and I'm sorry. The starting and ending really bring it back up, but it's still a D tier. Donut Plains 3. In my mind, this map is as mid as it can get, alright? It is not good. 
but I also haven't played it often, I haven't really tried it out, and I know there's a lot of stuff to do, so I'm gonna give it a high C tier. Royal Raceway, now this is a good track, there's really nothing more to say than that, it's solid, it's good, B tier. DK Jungle is definitely a good track, especially when you figure out how to do that shortcut in the middle, and it's, it's good, alright, high B tier. Wario Stadium, now this map has some cool jumps, some cool turns, but I'm gonna need more than that, Wario. Please, just do something better. C tier, Sherbet Land. Now, I think this one is actually pretty good. The ice doesn't really have as much of an effect as you think it would, but the middle part is great. You can flow from it very well, and you can cut a lot of corners, and it's it's fun, you know? High B tier, Music Park. Now, this one is a great map. You can really get as close as possible for the lowest time that is possible, and it is, it is clean. It is nice, it is fun, this is what you want. This is a high A tier. Yoshi Valley, and this makes it back to back bangers, cause this one is, it is great. This map has a billion different possibilities, 90% of which are trash, but there's pretty much only one way to go. And it is a good map, it feels good, it, it runs well, if you got a boost you can overtake very well at the end. This is an easy A tier. TikTok Clock, now I think this map is actually a lot better for what it has, because a lot of the time when there's a big circle and you gotta drive around it, the maps suck. Example, Dry Dry Desert, please not another one of those. But this map kinda pulls it off and I'd give this a low B tier, solid map. Piranha Plant Slide, oh god no, no no no, I don't like this map if you couldn't tell. Uh, yeah. Why is there a, a sharp left turn into a sharp right turn with pipes in the way blocking you from having a smooth turn that make you jump? I don't want to jump, I just want to have a smooth turn. Why is it like this? F tier. Rainbow Road, number two. This one is kind of okay, it's kind of boring, it's very short. Uh, yeah, so it's a C tier. Grumble Volcano. Now this map is actually pretty decent. It, I used to hate it, but the turns are actually nice and I like how the map kind of falls apart and you gotta take a sharper turn. That's pretty good. Low B tier. Yoshi's Circuit. Guys, we have arrived at our first certified banger, alright? This track has a lot of hard turns, but they still flow nicely together. You can get from one turn immediately to the next, and it's hard, but it is satisfying. Also, I've just learned that the track looks like Yoshi, which is a million plus points. This is an S tier. Certified. Excite Bike Arena. Now, I hate circular maps, and we'll get to Baby Park later, don't you worry. But this is just a fast circular map, and you're jumping 90% of the time, and there's nothing really too interesting about it. So for me, this is a D tier. Dragon Driftway. Now, this is a good map. It's not the best, but these turns are great, you know, because it goes from left to right to left to right, and it just sways back and forth. So the turns are very clean, you can jump from one to the next, this is an A tier. Mute City. Now, Mute City I think is alright, and I know, I know that's pretty much sacrilegious to say in a Mario Kart community, but I don't think the turns are that great. They're, they're nice, they're fun, but it's not incredible. That being said, it does send you into hyperspeed, and I do respect it for that. Hi B. Wario's Goldmine. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I call the best map in the game potentially. I haven't looked at all of them yet. But this is so good. The turns are so clean, you can take a lot of shortcuts and get some boost. And yeah, I just have a bunch of fun on this map whenever I play it. So this has got to be a high S tier for me. That's right, a high S tier. Rainbow Road number 3. Now this is probably the most torn I'll be about a map. Because I love this map in 200cc. If this was only 200cc, I'd put this in S tier. But in 150, the straights are just way too slow, and I'd put it in F tier for 150. So I'm gonna reach a middle ground and place this in C, but I am very torn about it. Ice Ice Outpost. Now this is probably as mid as a map gets for me, and I'm gonna be true to that. It is mid, it is a C. Hyrule Circuit is weird, because I think some parts are really cool, and then other parts are just not, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this a C. Baby Park. We finally made it to Baby Park, and I can go wild, alright? This might be the last one, I might just end the video after this, because I hate I hate Baby Park, and that is with a capital H-A-T-E. Okay, yeah, it has seven laps. Seven laps of garbage, seven times zero is still zero, okay? It is no fun, alright? I don't like circles, I don't, I don't like them. You get hit by everything, there's too many power-ups. No, 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 
Low F tier. Low F tier. Cheeseland. Now, I see Cheeseland being heavily disrespected online, and I can't stand for that. Cheeseland is a good map. It has some parts that are not that great, but other parts, like the ending if you have a boost, is wonderful. The starting, if you can jump and get some boosts off the tiny, like, hold divots, what do we call those? It is great. And I'm gonna give this a high B because of the lows and the highs. Wild Woods is another solid map that's above average, and that's pretty much all there is to it. There's some great turns, a good map, high B tier. Animal Crossing. Now, I used to hate this map. It used to be an F tier for me, if I'm being completely honest. But after I figured out how to do the wide drift at the start, it's been a bit better. And so because of that, I'm gonna give this a low B tier. We're in the home stretch. There's only four more to go, and Neo Bowser City. Now, this one is a great one. I see this one getting disrespected as well because of the rain, but no, this is a good map, all right? That turn at the end is wonderful. It is difficult, but when you hit it, it there is nothing like it. Low A tier, Ribbon Road, another great one that has a lot of different kind of turns, like wide ones and small turns and everything you can really think of, and I think it's great for that reason. Low A tier, Super Bell Subway. So unlike its above ground counterpart, <coughs> Toad's Turnpike, this map is actually great. Avoiding the trains while hitting a perfect drift is so exhilarating, and it is literally what Toad Turnpike wanted to be and never could be. I'm sorry, just get better Toad Turnpike, I hate you. High B tier. And finally, the last track in the game, Big Blue. And what a way to end it. Big Blue is a great map with the weirdest and wildest shortcuts. And for that reason, I have to respect it. It is one big map and it is one big fun time. I just said that. Low A tier. And there it is, the entire list. If you thoroughly disliked my objective takes, then I'm sorry, I just can't do anything about that. If you did enjoy my takes though, and you didn't take it too seriously, thank you for watching and uh, I give you this award. Same as that weird eel thing on that water map. No, but actually though, you are free to have your own opinion. Goodbye.